corner repair. So corners are definitely part of the book that get a lot of wear and tear. And um, whether it's just the user opening and closing or they get stuffed into a backpack or bag, something like that, um, they get really worn very quickly. Paper covers also, just by nature, um, it's a great way for a publisher to get a book out um, fairly inexpensively. However, they do tend to break down, especially if it's a popular title. So I wanted to show you today how to do a couple of quick repairs just on those corners. So we'll start with the paperback. In a paperback, a lot of times what the issue is is that it starts to delaminate. The paper starts to kind of curl and separate and that sort of thing. So what we're going to do actually is quite simple. I just have a brush here with some water on it. I'm going to dry that a little bit. I get the brush wet first before putting it in the glue because it makes the brush easier to clean afterwards. This glue that I'm using, just standards, standard Elmer's glue, um, this is a polyvinyl adhesive glue. This type of glue is really good for a repair because when it dries it remains flexible and that's great for a book. If it gets really dry and hard and brittle, then it's not going to flex and behave the way that we want a book to behave. Elmer's glue is not what we use in preservation services necessarily, but it's the cheaper alternative and it's a good choice if, if you aren't going to be able to buy um, a archival quality glue. This one will serve your purpose. So I'm just going to get a little bit of glue on my brush, especially to start. It's always better to start with less than you need. And I'm just applying the glue in between the layers. I'm going to go ahead and hit both sides just in case. And I'm just going to smooth it together. If there's any extra glue that squeezes out, just wipe that on my cloth. And then if we were to just let go now, it's possible this would separate again. So what I want to do is clamp it together until it's dry. A simple way to do that is just to use a piece of wax paper, just like you would buy in the kitchen, I mean for your cooking. Um, wrap it around. Two pieces of board. Cardboard would do, but if you have a denser board, like a thicker chipboard, um, that would work even better, or even a thin piece of wood would work. So clip it on either side and just a standard bulldog clip there. Or if you have this kind of clip, that would work as well, or even a clothespin works great. And then I would just leave it to dry, um, probably 30 minutes at the least. Uh, the longer you can let it dry, the better.